there are three rules that can be applied to series circuits. We can determine the values of voltage, current, resistance, and power for each circuit component by using these three rules in conjunction with Ohm's law. First, the current is the same at any point in the circuit. The total resistance is the sum of the individual resistances and the applied voltage is equal to the sum of the voltage drops across all the circuit components. Consider this first rule of series circuits that the current must be the same at any point in the circuit. In a complete circuit, electrons will leave the more negative source of power and flow to the more positive source. Imagine electrons leaving the negative battery terminal, flowing through each resistor, and completing the circuit back to the positive terminal. Since there is only one path for current to flow from the negative to the positive terminal, the current must be the same at any point in the circuit. The second rule concerning series circuits is that the total resistance is the sum of the individual resistances. A simple way to express this rule is to say that resistance adds or accumulates in a series circuit. Since a series circuit contains only one path for current flow, the current is hindered by each resistive element in the circuit. The third rule concerning series circuits states that the applied voltage is equal to the sum of the voltage drops across all the circuit components. Recall that voltage is electrical pressure. Voltage drops in an electrical circuit are similar to pressure drops in a hydraulic system.